Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. I'm going to start with this. Cardano founder says he no longer interact with the XRP community or respond to any Ripple related questions. In a recent video statement, Input Output CEO Charles Hodgkinson said that he would completely remove himself from any discussions involving XRP after the community kept harassing him due to a false rumor about a December 15th settlement between Ripple and the SEC. Hodgkinson explained that one of his listeners simply asked a question about whether or not ADA could be classified as an unregistered security in the U.S. and what would Cardano do in such a case. While sharing his take on the issue, Hodgkinson made an offhand comment about the Ripple case. Hodgkinson complains, claims that the case is an industry-wide concern, which is why he touched upon the issue. Now, because crypto is in such a, a dark space right now, everybody's on edge. So when you hear somebody like Charles Hodgkinson say that a settlement could happen on the 15th, people's hopes get up. And because it didn't happen, resentment set in. People got pissed off. But the thing is, I don't think Charles meant any harm by what he said. He was thinking, he was speaking off the top of his head. I do it consistently in all of these videos. I have no script, so who knows what I'm going to say minute to minute. I make mistakes in a lot of my videos. I pronounce words wrong. You all call me out on it. It's fine. I accept that. But the thing is, I feel because crypto is in such a state that it is in right now, anything that is said that can be taken out of context can turn into this or FUD. We see what's going on with Binance. We'll talk about that in a minute. But what it comes down to is that ADA could be classified as an unregistered security in the U.S., especially if Ripple was to lose that lawsuit. That's how big that case actually is. A win for Ripple is a win for all of crypto. A loss for Ripple would be devastating to crypto at this point. Binance. U.S. does not have your money, it turns out. It probably exists, but is held by Binance International, which is, of course, an illegal runaround of U.S. regulations. Walls closing in on CZ. Now, I feel Binance is not going to fall. But the thing is, there's so much FUD around Binance right now, and I even said it in the past. I always felt there was something wrong there. But the thing is, it should not matter to any of you because you should not have your crypto stored on exchanges. You buy your crypto and get it off the exchange. I promote Mexi for one reason. They have no lockup period. You could buy there and move it off of there. And no exchange is 100% safe. It never was and it never will be. Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, Chris Larson, Joe Katz are the most professional and well put together company and leadership in the entire crypto space. Now I'm going to start talking about the other utility driven coins some more. Now that I'm starting to feel better, I'll make videos on Q&T, HBAR, XDC. You look at the leadership behind these companies though, and you say to yourself, okay, the leadership is amazing. And then you, that's when you start looking beyond the leadership. What kind of use case does this crypto have? What's the utility behind it? That's how you make sound investments. With Ripple, I feel Brad Garlinghouse is one of the most transparent people in all of crypto. To anyone who worked at FTX or any associated companies, Ripple is not hiring. To everyone else, Ripple is always hiring. David Schwartz. You hear statements like that. You know you invested in the right cryptocurrency. And I can't say it enough. David Schwartz is one of the greatest people in all of crypto. Bank of England in 2017 carried out a proof of concept with Ripple to explore the synchronized movement of two different currencies across two different real-time gross settlement systems linked using Ripple Connect and the Interledger protocol. That's how far back this goes. These partnerships with banks go back years and they're still intact today because these banks are waiting to utilize XRP for on-demand liquidity and cross-border payments. Ripple and a CBDC. When you look at how easy they lay it out, you can see why all of these banking entities are getting on board with Ripple. 
Onboard standard APIs enable integration of CBDC platform into existing systems. Mint. Banks use the platform cryptographic multi-sign controls to mint CBDCs. Distribute. Issuers can send CBDCs to authorized accounts. Only valid participants can hold and receive the CBDCs. Transact. Transactions settle in 2 to 3 seconds. Seconds. Interoperability enables cross-asset and cross-border transactions when connected to another CBDC. Redeem. Participants can return funds on the CBDC to issuer in exchange for fiat. Destroy. CBDC platform supports secure destructions of currency. Bank has full control of supply. They make it so simple that any bank can onboard with this and understand it. XRP is the first globally recognized cryptocurrency to be supported by the settler, bringing the Corda and XRP ecosystem into closer alignment. R3 launches Universal Settler application to facilitate global payments on Corda, XRP, the first settlement mechanism. This is part of that massive network I'm always talking about that's forming with throughout crypto right now you see this crypto tied to this crypto somehow some way partnered with this crypto over here forming a massive network it's all part of the new financial system we're watching it get built from the ground up cayman islands thinks ripple is relevant payment type me too and again it's country after country on boarding with ripple you have to be able to see what's coming at this point it doesn't take a visionary anymore to see what's coming it's facts now getting laid out day after day showing you how ripple is about to move all the world's money in 2016 the central bank of russia conducted research on cross-border payments using ripple platform and also openly mentioning the use of XRP. So use for XRP transfers are equivalents of fiat currencies issued by each participant, the national bank. Determination of a mechanism for reconciling balances between the amounts of Ripple participants and the national payment system. Use of embedded cryptographic solutions on the Ripple network. Development of a procedure for determining cross rates for the inter internal currency or Ripple XRP when deciding to use XRP in interstate settlements. So even back then in 2016, Russia was already looking at Ripple. Then you look at India, Brazil, and South Africa already tied to Ripple somehow, some way on the man liquidity corridors. You could see that the BRICS at some point are going to announce they're going to use Ripple. I can see it coming. List of the top 100 banks and who is a Ripple partner. Now when you look at this list, 38% 30, of the world's top 100 banks have linked to Ripple. Think about that. And you still don't see the value in XRP. This is why people inside of crypto that hold Bitcoin are so afraid of XRP. They see where it's going in the future, leaving Bitcoin behind. Japan, United States, JP Morgan and Chase and Company tied to Ripple. HSBC in the United Kingdom, Bank of America in the United States. These United States banks can't wait to utilize XRP. Bank of America already talks about it. Even Wells Fargo mentioned XRP as a cryptocurrency while it's still inside of this lawsuit with the SEC. Think about that. They know that this will put them ahead of the rest of the banking systems throughout the world. Ripple XRP, Gary Gensler is on borrowed time. Rep Representative John Rose, Chairman Gensler has failed at his job and worst of all failed to protect investors, which is one of the key components to the SEC mission and asleep at the wheel. So we're seeing all these politicians start to look at Gary Gensler. They see the corruption that's going on inside of the SEC. It's just a matter of time until these people go in and rein in Gary Gensler. They now see how far the corruption goes. FTX brought a lot of things to light. Goodbye Howie test, hello Ripple test. So in 2015, the US government concluded XRP was a virtual currency. Last I checked, the SEC is still part of the US government. Goodbye Howie test, hello Ripple test. That's what that lawsuit means. If Ripple wins that lawsuit, 
all crypto will be put to the Ripple test, no longer put against the Howey test. I feel that test was outdated, the Howey test. And it should not even be used as far as cryptocurrencies. Crypto is so modern. The technology that we're using today is so much further advanced than from when the Howey test was created. First they ignore XRP, then they laugh at XRP, then they fight XRP, then XRP wins. XRP holder. Now, early on, when as an XRP investor, you had to deal with conspiracy theories. Everything that you heard was deemed a, a conspiracy theory. Now, all of a sudden, those theories are becoming facts. Now, we're starting to get massive FUD campaigns around XRP, almost on a daily basis, most likely coming from Bitcoin maxis. But if you've been holding XRP for a long period of time, you've been through so much. You've been through an SEC lawsuit that's 20 or two years old now, all the way back in 2020 that when that case started, people were frustrated back then. People left crypto, never came back. People sold their XRP at a loss. But if you're still holding XRP today, now you're in the final stretch. Continue to hold it. Stay patient. Our time truly is coming. I feel everything's going to start at the beginning of next year. Everything points towards it. All the facts point towards XRP moving all the world's money. XRP possibly being backed by actual gold also is becoming a more and more of a possibility. Everything looks great for XRP holders. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.